didn't get anything. I get bored after four minutes because it was only movements and this technical mm -hmm. thing. Is, is, uh, is, is it about as someone suddenly comes to it? No, it's a reaffirmation of faith. That's what I think it is. Aha, that's interesting. <laughs> and I'm the artistic director of Vision Mechanics. This is the kind of storyboard sort of where we put together the ideas for the show. So we've had this idea for doing Betty Mert and now there she's just opened the box so to speak. Bring her hands to rest and then we'll start. My name is uh, Brita Skaremovic. I come from Norway. I live in Svolvær, a small hour drive away. And um, I've come here to Stumson to uh, meet up with Vision Mechanics and work uh, on this project, um, on this story about Betty and her voyage. And maybe you have to do it in the words? It's in the song. In the song, yeah. Okay. The songs carry that. What do you think, Pat? Yeah, that's a challenge, I think, for an audience. Definitely. To sort of pick up on uh, all of these, the, 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 just the, the just the journey alone. You could make it very, very, very obvious with the, with the, with the lyrics, mm -hmm. but that, wouldn't, probably, that probably wouldn't sound very good. Sometimes with, with, with songwriting, it's kind of what, it's, it's what you don't say is what you do say. Yeah. For Ian, it's a, it's a whole new idea, this projecting on before and working only in the projected light. What about animation? Yeah, well, it's just a slow process for really living, and you don't want to distract too much from what's going on in terms of puppetry and, and movement. Um, anyway. In Storm, she survived the storm, and um... yeah, so survival will be one of the things she's thankful for. Thankful for surviving. Okay. Survival. I know they see you, see the sky, take a breath and hear a sigh. I thank the sky. My name's Pat McGarvey. Um, I'm working on this uh, show Castaway here in Norway, and um, uh, the show is about, as you probably know, uh, the uh, the historical figure Betty Moore, who was cast away on a ship for uh, um, days at sea. It's it's based upon an operatic eight-song cycle, and there's something uh, that's related to what I've done before. With um, you know, I've done a lot of kind of uh, soundtrack-influenced kind of folk, and uh, sort of, we're sort of limited with what we have uh, as a musical palette here. Um, Using you know some very basic computer here, sounds. Uh, how I can fit uh, you know the ideas from it within my head in you know into a, a theatrical format, something that complements the, uh, the the thrust and the uh, drive of the story, and also uh, you know the, the movement of the uh, animation and, and the puppetry combined. And, around and step around her and move to operate her hand, so you become part of. My name is uh, Preben Faye Schöll. I'm the head of the Nordland Visual Theatre, the artistic director. And I'm in a project with uh, Vision Mechanics from Scotland. It's uh, our first uh, relation to the Scottish uh, performing art scene. Uh, and um, when we got the, the, the application uh, or the description of the project, we, we, um, we um, became curious about the project. Uh, you know the, the 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 relation between Norway and uh, Scotland has been there for for hundreds of years. My name is Kim Bergcycle, and uh, I'm the puppeteer and designer for this show. This is Betty Mowat, she's 61, and uh, she's inspired by that wooden, craggy, Viking carving. <laughs> Um, my name is Ian Craig and I'm working on the animation and projection for the Castaway project. Um, so we'll be looking at 
creating a, an, a world that Betty lives and moves within through, through animation and projection um, and using animation and projection to, to light the space and the figures moving within it. Projecting from above um, onto the floor space, um, which will hopefully end, up, which will catch onto a layer above as well. So the performance will be trapped in between two levels, um, and that's like in a plane where the people will be moving, the performance and the puppeteers will be moving through. I like the idea of doing a piece that is really essentially an emotional piece contained within eight songs. Mm. I felt that at the end of it we had something that was um, worth pushing on. The most is extraordinary, uh, also what you call it, overraskelse. Uh, no surprise. surprise. Uh, that was maybe this time the the, the female singer, also the song. Mm. Good work also. Yeah. One week. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mm.